you who did not know, this is Gracie. She is our daughter. We'll try to make it through this part. Um, there's nothing quite as special as seeing your children. We have parents in here. You're feeling the same feeling I'm feeling. Um, make a public stand and declaration for how they want to live their life. And so um, we're incredibly proud of Grace. Yes, we and are. Uh, I just want to ask you, Gracie, why do you want to be baptized today? Um, I want to be baptized because I want to show everyone that I love Jesus and that I want to live for him for the rest of my life. That's good. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. <laughs> you got this. Uh, it's okay. Anyways, um, he's done so much for me and I want to do this for him. That's awesome. Thank you, Helen. Um, <laughs> is there anything, Grace, that you would like to share as a testimony of what God has done in your life? Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I went to the Unashamed Camp, and I had a powerful weekend. I always known and loved Jesus, but this film was extra special. During, during, um, during the Ignite session, they invited people to come, people to come for prayer, but I was scared to go up. Okay. say to you. Go for it. So then I went up and got prayed for. During that time, I asked God for forgiveness for some things I've done and struggled with. Then I heard his voice say to me, I forgive you, my daughter. Oh, I, felt, I felt his forgiveness and his love. And I felt like my past was literally gone. I felt like a completely new person. I've always, um, oh, I also got baptized in the Holy Spirit and started speaking in tongues. <laughs> I used to have so much fear, but now I feel like it's gone. When I got back home, um, and I went to school, I felt like a brand new person. I'm not the same anymore. Jesus has changed my life. Um, there's a verse, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. That's really yeah, yeah, sure. Then there's a saying, it says, Baptism is a closed door to is a closed door to your past, an open door to a bright future, and a big step into a new life in Christ. Amen. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Grace. I just want to share one thing just, just for those that are out there and maybe just, you know, struggling to make a decision to get baptized because of fear. This, this is a miracle that she's in here. Yeah. Come on. She struggled with fear and anxiety her entire life. The fact that she's in here today is nothing short of a miracle of what God did two weekends ago. And we've seen the difference in the last two weeks. She's not the same. And so, we're so proud of her. So, um, and Josiah is here with you on the phone. Yeah, He's here from Portland, hey Josiah. And so we're all here with you. And uh, we just want to ask you, is it your desire, Gracie, to live for Jesus and for Him alone for the rest of your life? Yes. Do you renounce all the works of the enemy and all the fear that He's thrown at you? Yep. Well then, it is our privilege and our honor as your parents, as your besties, yeah. and as your pastors, to baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>